I'm Lila Chang for GeekComedy.com and today I'm going to my verdict on the new MacBook Air. This video will all be opinionated so if you want to hear some of the specs and features go visit my first look video. First up is the form factor. I really like the form factor of this computer. Light and slim. It's a lot easier to carry than my old laptop and the keyboard is big enough for me to use without any problems. The trackpad is about the same size as an iPhone so it's still pretty big. In terms of I.O. it's enough for me. Two USB ports a headphone jack with microphone support, Thunderbolt I.O. which is super fast and is a display connector for DVI and HDMI with audio etc. I thought I'd have problems with I.O. but it's plenty for me and in the future I can buy a hub. In terms of performance it's extremely fast. The entire drive is encrypted so I don't even think about stealing this off of me. As the lab tests show it's a really fast boot. Videos export really fast however I hope in the future 1080p can export at a 1 to 1 ratio. I haven't really tried out gaming on the new Air because I can't renew my World of Warcraft subscription. However, all other performance seems fine. No problems with memory. With Chrome 14 open, there isn't any problems with tabs or anything on iTunes or it's fine. With battery life, I was really impressed with getting 4 hours and 20 minutes of while watching just HD video on iTunes. 3 hours and 30 minutes under Chrome. However, Flash is built into that by default and I've yet to try Safari. That's all the pros now, what about the cons? The first one is there isn't any optical drive. I didn't really miss it, although I would have liked it. However, I'm not desperate and I don't need an external. It will, however, in the future may impact my decision on the channels onto which I buy my software. It will push me towards digital distribution. Also, I don't like having to carry an external hard drive with my iTunes on it as in the future when I'm on battery life, it may reduce the performance, especially if the plane doesn't have any power sockets, for example. Overall, I'm really happy with the new computer. It gives me a push towards digital distribution. And unless you really need all the I.O., I would definitely purchase a MacBook Air over a MacBook Pro any day. Thanks for watching. I'm Lilo Cheng for geekofcomedy.com.